hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's tip top and right now for my client it's her birthday so we're gonna do her birthday nails and it's a leo set that's inspired by nail by Nache on instagram my home girl so the first thing i'm doing i'm putting on tips now she's getting these super long but i personally don't like the extendo nail tips i don't like the the straight nail tips y'all know the one that come like stiletto and then also the ones that already come coffin like the no c curve one well the less c curve ones i don't really like those well i i like them but i'm not comfortable using them just yet so i'm just doing the old-fashioned double tip method so i personally like to use curved nail tips they don't curve really bad or anything like that it's just a natural curve y'all know the regular btr box tips so whenever i use these to double tip what i do is i glue down one tip i cut some of it off which i'm doing now the reason why you cut some of it off before you double tip it is because if you double tip it on top of the other nail like without cutting it the nails are going to be too curved so since you just wanted a like extra length from the like how can i explain this so she just wanted a little bit more length so instead of putting the nail tip on and then gluing a tip at the end of that one i just cut to the length where like the length added she wanted and now I'm going tips on the end of that tip. Y'all see what I'm doing. So the reason why you do that is because it's not, the nails won't be super curved that way. But if you do it the other way where you put the tip on there and you don't cut anything at all. And then you add the other tip on top of that, the nails are going to be super, super curved. So if you look at that pinky, you can tell that it's, it's, it doesn't curve that bad. So that's why I do it this way. So yeah. But these tips right here that I'm using are Clawly tips. And her Instagram is Clawly. Yeah, I think it's just Clawly. Shop Clawly or something like that. But these are her tapered square tips. But um, BTR Box and EC Basket on Amazon are equivalent to these tips. These are the ones I normally use. Just because I've been using them for a long time and they're just what I'm most comfortable with. So now I'm just going in and shaping them real quick. And this file is 80-80. There you go. Make sure your client hand is always straight. That is a pet peeve of mine. Like, I really hate that. Turn your hand straight, please. So now into the application. This is Cover Flamingo by Young Nails. This is a glow in the dark pink color by Glam and Glitz. And Acrylics Hot Girl, a super pretty glitter. And then this is Me a Secret Clear. And then that's a custom pink I made from a long time ago. So I already put down her thin layer of clear. So I primed all of them and put down her thin layer clear. Now I'm going in with Young Nails Cover Flamingo. This color is super, super pretty. Like, I love Cover Pink, but this Cover Flamingo is undefeated. If you don't have it in your collection by now, go get it right now. It's so pretty. It's like a, it's a nude pink, whereas Cover Pink is more of, just a solid nude this one actually got pink in it and so bum so for this set I tried to stick with the 3b method simply because when the nails are so long you don't want to get so carried away in doing so many bees like you can but it's just gonna take forever so now here go the cuticle bead and as you can see I'm using my brush to push product up to the cuticle instead of putting the product directly on the cuticle. 
and then I'm just blending it out make sure no acrylic is on the skin no lines of demarcation on the top keeping my shape and then moving on so that one is going to be solid nude on the middle finger because we're going to put stickers on that one the pinky i decided to do a french but i'm going to paint the french on instead simply because the nails are so long and they, i already knew that it was going to take a minute to do so i didn't really want to do the acrylic french on there so i just decided it would be quicker if i painted it on in the end but you can definitely do whichever one you want i personally personally do like the acrylic french better but you know sometimes you got to do stuff to save time all right going in with my apex bead pushing in those sides mainly whenever i'm doing my application the first part i like to focus on are the sides like push in those sides first side side and then you can worry about the middle side side middle side side middle so now i'm pulling that product down from the middle the reason why you want to focus on the sides first is because whenever you first lay your bead down the acrylic is gonna want to seep off on the sides like it's gonna want to get on the skin and stuff so your goal is to push that product back to the center and then blend it all down the middle so this nail I'm actually going to do an acrylic French but the reason why I'm doing this one with acrylic is because it's gonna be marble at the end so I'm going ahead and using my brush to form my oval shape for my French if you have a French cutter you can use that but I found out like that just slows me down and I just rather um, freehand it honestly so letting that dry and I'm just gonna move on using that hot girl glitter y'all this glitter is so pretty it's so pretty it has reflex of blue I don't know if you can really tell on camera but in certain lights it looks blue purple it's so pretty so I've moved on to this glitter nail because I have to give my French nail time to dry now I was going to the reason why I moved on from the French nail was because I was going to go back in with my file and kind of sharpen up the edges but I just realized since I'm doing marble it really doesn't matter so yeah like you still can do it if you want to but I just thought it was going to be a waste of time since I was doing marble now if I was doing a solid color I would definitely make sure I file that French now I'm capping my glitter of course with my Mia secret I love my Mia secret clear I probably won't change to anything else honestly because Mia just do it for me she just does it for me that's all I need all right make sure you cap all of your glitter always unless it's a super fine core powder glitter then you don't need to cap it so for this marble i'm using that custom pink i'm using that glow in the dark pink and i'm using white the key with marble is to not overdo it so normally you want to put your colors right beside each other if not directly on top of each other because you want them to mix on their own so you want the beads to be very runny you see how my beads are running down the nail already that's how you want your consistency so now i'm just using my brush like the very tiny bristles of my brush to just move it around some more to make sure i'm covering the nail so as you can see i'm not really doing any kind of like um forced brushing or forced moving of the product because you don't want to mess up your marble so if you marble and you just mix all the colors together or you keep brushing over the surface you're not going to be able to see it's a marble 
The point of the marble is to be able to see every single, co every single color that you use. So if you keep brushing over it, now it's just like a tie-dye. It's not marble. So make sure whenever you're mixing it, be very light. And then also remember, less is more. Less is definitely more of a marble. So don't over blend, don't over swipe. Just run your brush through it a little bit and then just leave it alone. And I promise you, it's gonna look good. As long as you have super wet beads and then you lay them on top of each other and you just move it around a little bit, that's it girl. That's all you need for your marble. I'm making sure I take my clear up on the sides to make sure I cover everything. Cause I don't need any gaps. All right, so now Here's the thumb. I know I rarely show the thumb, but I decided to show it this time since it's a um, different design. So here I'm doing another marble. So as you can see, I'm just lightly moving my brush around. All right, make sure I'm covering the sides and keeping my shape. And then this nail, I'm actually, I'm doing a, um, a marble ombre with my cover flamingo color from earlier. So blending that down. And then also cover flamingo, um, it's a little bit on the sheer side. It's not completely sheer, but it can tend to be sheer a little bit. So that's why I thought it was perfect to use for this marble ombre. And then it's already pink based. So I just thought they would have blend super well. And it did. And I'm taking some of that hot girl glitter and just putting a little bit on top because that's what the picture had. And then I'm going to cap the bottom of this and clear.
so that was the whole application process and now it's time for me to smooth out the surface so right here i'm actually taking my hand foul i am going to go back in with my drill to seal the cuticles as well but um i don't hand foul all the time but sometimes i do if i feel like i don't need to use the drill as much so I'm going to smooth this out. It's nothing special about how I smooth the nails out or anything. So I won't show the whole process. But I'm going to smooth the nails out. Go over it with the drill. Seal the cuticles. Make sure I file underneath to make my C curve. And then to reshape it, I reshape it the same way I shape it when it's just a tip on there. right period it's the shape for me it's the shape for me i love it even though coffin isn't one of my favorite shapes i still love it period now it's time to decorate i'm using picasso's black polish got them black and i'm going to use this to do my hand-drawn french I'm using my crazy, crazy long striper brush that I got from Michaels. So this is an actual paintbrush. All right, so I'm just using that brush to create the smile line. Now you can make your smile line go however deep you want it to. I typically stop it around where my apex is. So after I make the bottom of the swoop like around my apex and then also i'm making sure it matches up with the acrylic french i got on my index finger so after i make sure those are lined up i just fill the rest of it in with the actual polish bottle and then i do two coats of that and i'm going to cure it in my light and then now these are the stickers i use for the letters 
Um, I stole these from the Shay, so <laughs> I don't know where they're from. But she's a Leo, so I'm just going ahead and find the Leo. Putting those on. And then also, on the other hand, she's getting 19. But she's turning 19. And I can't remember where those are from either. <laughs> but if um, a lot of Instagram nail supply um, stores, I guess, they sell all this stuff. So they're not hard to find. Just look for letter stickers and number stickers literally and you probably can find them off amazon too so just gonna stick these on and then with those i don't use any glue to stick them now simply because these are super sticky now some some stickers aren't sticky at all and i have to put a little glue down first but once I seal these with top coat, I think they should be good. I don't think they'll peel up or anything because they're super sticky. Sometimes, though, you might have to put a little glue down. So I'm using some crystals in my Blink Adhesive from Zule on Instagram. Um, we're just doing something light. And then I'm going to use my wax pencil. I got that from Amazon. And then my crystals are from Blue Streak. You can find their Instagram. Um, it's, I think it's called Blue Streak Online or something like that. Once you look up Blue Streak, it's going to come up. So on this pinky, I'm doing a cuticle bling. And I think on the index, I'm doing a cuticle bling as well. The original picture had a bling on the glitter finger. But she decided to change that to the pom-pom. Alright, so now I'm actually going to glue on the magnet for the pom pom. And yes, before anybody starts in the comment, she can take it on and off so she can use the bathroom, wash her hands, stuff like that. So that's the first piece to the magnet. You just glue it on. I'm using the same Zule adhesive to glue it on with. Some people use, um, what is it? The gel but i'm not too fond of gel i've had problems with it in the past and honestly whenever i find something good i just never switch up and not polish the best top coat period don't at me and i'm just going ahead and top coat all the nails and then i'm going to put the pump pump on at the end and then the pump pump i got from amazon All right, so I'm finishing up this set with some oil. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also, 
turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video whenever I upload. And if you made it this far into the video, leave a nail emoji in the comments.